Hi, this is Rick from Rick's Daily Tips Tech Blog. Every modern version of Microsoft Windows allows you to create two types of local user accounts, administrator accounts and standard accounts. In my opinion, every PC should have one account of each type installed, even if only one person will be using the computer. A quick rundown of the differences between the two account types will make it easy to understand why I make this recommendation. First, let's talk about administrator accounts. On a Windows PC, administrator accounts are very much like the root account on a Unix or Linux box. A user logged into an account with administrator privileges can do pretty much anything on the computer. They can view virtually every file on the system, change system-wide settings, run all installed programs, add new programs, install new hardware, and change the user names and passwords of other users. As you can see, a, an administrator account is very powerful. A standard user account cannot change most system-wide settings, cannot run software that the account hasn't been giving permission to use, cannot install new software or hardware that affects the entire system, or change the usernames and passwords of other users. But most importantly, using a standard account will prevent most malware and other malicious programs and apps from making system-wide changes to your Windows installation. And as you can imagine, that makes your system more secure. Basically, when you're logged into an administrator, you have the ability to do almost anything you wish to do with the PC. Unfortunately, you may also have the ability to do things that you never really intended to do, some of which can cause major problems with the computer. For example, it's quite easy for an administrator to accidentally delete an important system file or change a setting that renders the PC unstable or even unbootable. This is why every computer owner needs to have both, both an administrator account and a standard account on their PC. The administrator account should only be used when a task absolutely has to be done that a standard user account cannot do. During, norm during normal use, it is always best to log into a standard account. And if more than one person will be using the same PC, each user should have their very own standard account to use. With that in mind, here's the procedure for creating user accounts in Windows 11. First, log into a user account that has administrator privileges. Now, right-click the Start button and select Settings from the menu. In the left-hand pane, click Accounts. In the right-hand pane, scroll down and click Other Users. Click the Add Account button. Now here's where you have a choice to make. If you want to sign into the new standard account via a different Microsoft account, enter the email address or phone number that's associated with that account and then click Finish. However, if you want to sign in with a local account, which is my own personal preference, click the I don't have this person sign in information link and then click the Add a user without Microsoft account link and enter the requested information. That's all there is to it. Your computer will be safer from viruses and drive-by software installations now that you'll be using it while signed into a limited user account. Only use your administrator account when you really need to, to perform an administrator type function. If you found this tip useful, I hope you'll help me spread the word by clicking like and subscribe. Thanks a bunch.